have actually three main programs at TTI, medical assistant, patient care technician, and hemodialysis technician. And so the two courses that are um, similar to uh, PCT and medical assistant are EKG and phlebotomy. That's typically where our student starts. Um, and like I said, we have um, two phlebotomy courses running right now, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, then the student would go to either CNA, nursing assistant, if they would like to become a PCT, um, and then they would go to medical assistant, uh, medical assistant course if they want to work in an MA. We take all kinds of students, students with experience, students without experience. Um, we do have a lot of students who are just coming in this. They, they care for people and they're interested in, in our programs um, and they start from scratch, start at the bottom. Uh, typically for a patient care technician, they start as a CNA in a nursing home, get some experience and then work their way up to uh, be employed in a hospital. Uh, the hospital, they obviously learn more uh, they get paid more and better benefits and at that point if they do want to go further as a nurse um, a lot of hospitals provide tuition reimbursement. As you can see we do um, lab work the students learn to draw blood but typically first they practice on the fake arms which we have which is uh, uh, very nice for them to do that first before they draw on a real person. Um, we have all the supplies the tubes the tube holders um, and then obviously the biohazard containers. Our students, when they take a class, part of the class, or actually three-fourths of the class, is a lecture. Um, so they're working to prepare for that certification exam, which I should mention we do NHA. Um, the other uh, fourth is labs, um, where they actually get hands-on experience. So this is an example here of a lobotomy lab um, where they can learn how to, where students learn how to draw blood. They practice with the fake arms first, then move on to um, real people. And we have, we encourage them to bring in their family members so they can practice on them as well. So this here is our EKG staging area where we hold our EKG labs. We have a private room where they actually perform the EKGs, um, which is located over there. But this is an example of one of the EKG machines we use. Um, so as I said, part of the class is lectures and then part of it is labs actually learning to do the skill um, that, that we're teaching. In addition to that, we do about 30 health fairs a year, which we really encourage students to do and take advantage of because not only do they get practical experience in the real world, but they do get a letter from each event which they can use to build their resume and their portfolio, which we also help with and is very important when they're searching for a job. Uh, so another thing we offer is CPR training for all of our students um, and also the health fairs which I mentioned students volunteer for to get experience. Um, we do blood pressures, we do um, BMI, um, finger sticks for glucose testing. Um, this is an example here of one of the BMI machines that we take to the events. And then the students, um, as well as getting that real world experience, they get a letter for each event that they can put with their portfolio and their resume, um, which helps them, especially if they have no experience to begin with, it helps them with the job search. TTI was founded by Rick Stefaniak and Anna Wilhite, the co-founders, and they really do care about their students. It's the reason why I came here to join this company. Um, it's amazing to see what they do to help students succeed. I'm so happy to be part of the organization because we've helped so many students and the most rewarding thing is actually to have students come back. Students from years ago who've become nurses or they work in the ER now and they come and tell their stories and talk to new students, but it's so fulfilling to know that someone who had no experience came to TTI and now has a new career, a new life.